Okay, so we've been following the Alice at Duke tutorial for the last couple of weeks, and there's a couple of things that have come up uh, that are worth quickly going through. So you can see I've inserted the a witch, I've inserted the cauldron, and I've thrown a bridge in this part of the background. I've also inserted my spoon, but I've made a couple of mistakes with my spoon, so let's have a quick look at this. First of all, my spoon isn't in the right place, it's not in the cauldron. Now if I go on to select the spoon here, my option at the moment, I can see the move control, and if I click on that, it should allow me to move. But because it's below the ground, if you look over here on the Y coordinates, because the Y is um, below zero, sometimes that can be quite tricky to select, and depending on your position program, it, it doesn't always make it easy to grab. So if we change the Y here to a number greater than uh, zero, so I'm going to just choose one and press enter, you can see it brings it above the ground. And then I can select on the normal move tools to move it around and put it in the cauldron or the resize tools. The other thing I sometimes spot with this one when people are just starting is they've started with a very small spoon. And again, it can be very, uh, very difficult to select the small spoon. So again, if we select the width here and change that to one and press enter. You'll find it changes all the proportions of the school of the spoon in relation to each other. And then again, it's easier to grab it and move it. The final problem we've come across a couple of times is that sometimes it's quite tricky to get hold of the objects and move them. And the reason for that is often because if you just look, if I just take a step back, you can see my camera box. And what seems to happen occasionally is that you're in a position here, you've selected the spoon and you've selected move. And it's working on mine, but sometimes it won't let you select it. And the reason is because basically you're still too close to the camera. So what's actually happening is when you're trying to collect, select the spoon, you're actually selecting the camera. And if that's the case, just try taking one or two steps forward and you should find it moves properly at that point.